Hey, how's it going? It's Michael back here with a brand new Cloverfield topic video. So as you know, Cloverfield is the 2008 monster movie directed by Matt Reeves. While the first movie had a lot of lore and mysteries to it, eight years later we got another story in the universe and that was 10 Cloverfield Lane. Although there aren't very explicit connections to the films, there are subtle hints and tie-ins between them. At the end of 10 Cloverfield Lane, we're introduced to an alien species that's been teased throughout the movie to the main character, only to realize that they are real and out to get her. For this video, we'll be talking about what are the aliens from 10 Cloverfield Lane. So let's get into it. The aliens from 10 Cloverfield Lane are giant worm quadrupedal-like creatures. They have a metal plating on their bodies almost as armor or some layer of skin. Each individual metallic plate has a similar design of a hexagon. With regards to what exactly they are, from what we know from the film, they appear to be some sort of hybrid between organic life forms with advanced technology. The aliens themselves, apart from being worm-like, have a secondary mouth that extends from the insides of their first and outer mouth. Their heads have a circular shape with extremely sharp teeth. The aliens are extremely hostile and are sensitive to sound as we see in the film. Similar to Clover, the monster from Cloverfield seem to have related horn noises as a possible means of communication or as a warning signal before attacking. This is something almost identical to Cloverfield as at one point during the final battle in 10 Cloverfield Lane, we hear sounds hurtled from the alien ship that's eerily similar. The ships that we see in the movie are quite interesting as well as they appear to be some sort of techno-organic extraterrestrial aircraft. In addition to this, the aliens are equipped with a deadly toxic gas. We see this being used in the last minutes of the movie as Michelle requires a hazmat suit so she's not exposed to the gas and dies. When did the aliens first arrive on Earth and why? Well, there's a lot of different theories, but here's the one that I think makes the most sense and connects to what exactly the 10 Cloverfield aliens are and how they connect to Howard from the movie and the monster from the first Cloverfield movie. As we saw at the very end of Cloverfield, a satellite dropped from space and fell into the depths of the ocean. Now, while it's said that the monster from Cloverfield was actually woken up by the humans, what I think happened was the aliens that we see in 10 Cloverfield Lane were monitoring the creature in the movie for thousands of years and sent down the satellite to wake up the creature or jump-started it to slowly grow out of its egg. Shortly afterwards, the humans may have actually found it themselves or woke it up. The key here is that the alien satellite or human satellite was purposely sent by the beings from 10 Cloverfield to wake up Clover. This was potentially done as an invasion tactic, sort of in waves using Clover from the first movie as a first wave of attack as a test potentially and the second wave being the real threat which is the alien invasion in 10 Cloverfield Lane. This may make sense given that J.J. Abrams has gone on record talking about the Cloverfield monster saying he's a baby, he's brand new, he's confused, disoriented, and irritable and he's been down there in the water for thousands and thousands of years. So this baby was being watched by the aliens this whole time. Now this would make sense meaning that Clover and the alien are related not to mention that they have similar looking mouths and make similar noises. Connecting to Howard from 10 Cloverfield Lane and the original movie with the aliens, Howard worked for Terragato on satellites. They were a company from the original movie that had a significant impact to the background story. It was revealed through multiple viral marketing campaigns for the first movie that Howard actually worked for Bold Futura, a branch of Tagarado, the company supposedly responsible. The ARG for 10 Cloverfield Lane revealed that Howard worked for Bold Futura on their satellites, thus why he was so hung up on the alien and well prepared for the apocalypse because he knew. On top of this, several pieces of dialogue in the film hint towards this. For example, when Emmett says to Michelle, have you heard his theory on giant mutant space worms yet? Now while this may just sound like a joke at first, by the end of the movie, this does make sense with what we see and what the aliens look like. It's a very specific theory that pretty much solidifies Howard's involvement and knowledge with the events. Howard's job had him fix broken satellites, and from one of them, or the job in general, he learned about the inevitable invasion. He even mentions that he caught went to the attack and rushed straight to the bunker. Furthermore, the company has oil rigs that they keep in the ocean. From the viral marketing campaigns from the first Cloverfield, it actually shows the rig falling and its cover-up. So in all, that's what the aliens from 10 Cloverfield Lane are, and they're connected to the monster from Cloverfield by it potentially being some sort of sent off hybrid weapon to attack Earth or something along those lines. The upcoming entry in the series God Particle coming out later this year will actually take place in space and be about astronauts in a space station who make a quote unquote terrifying discovery. This new Cloverfield movie could be the one that gives context between what happened and how 10 Cloverfield Lane and Cloverfield are connected. But that wraps it up for this video. Video on what are the aliens in 10 Cloverfield Lane. What did you think about this video? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this 
video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to The Hybrid Network if you haven't already. I'm Michael for The Hybrid Network, signing off for this video. I'll see you next time. Take care.